So this is the Poseidon D70. It's a 7.1 channel surround sound home theater speaker system by Altimia. This comes in at roughly around $230, but make sure to check the link in the description to find the latest pricing, any discount codes, and all of the key specs and features that I may not be able to cover in this video. So let's go ahead and dive in to the speakers and take a closer look at the design. And then we'll go ahead and set it up onto my TV just back there. Now the soundbar has a few buttons along the top as well. The power button, source, Bluetooth and volume controls. Let's take a look at the ports on the back. So we have a DC in, the front right, front left channels for your speakers, auxiliary input, optical input, USB and HDMI, which is the eARC input. That's how I'm going to be connecting this, but there's plenty of connectivity options as well. You do have some quarter 20 inch threads as well and it does come with a lot of screws and wall plugs in case you want to mount this onto a wall as well. Now with the cables to connect the speakers, they are color coded with red and white and they are labeled with front and rear. So it's very easy to connect. You literally just put it into the red port of one of the speakers and to the right channel on the back of the soundbar or the subwoofer. Now the one thing I really like about the subwoofer is that it is completely wireless and independent to the soundbar. So you don't have to connect it directly to the soundbar you can reposition this somewhere else in the room and plug it in separately. And the subwoofer also utilizes something called Bass MX technology, which essentially enhances the low frequencies, providing adjustable bass for a more immersive sound encounter. Now let's just take a quick look at the remote control. As you can see, there's plenty of buttons, plenty of options. You have all of your connectivity options just there along the top. This is what I was just mentioning about the subwoofer and the bass MX technology. You can adjust the enhancement of the bass yourself manually. You can also change the mid range and the treble. Lots of different modes to adjust to the content that you're watching. So if you're watching a movie, best to choose the movie mode, or if you wanna just listen to some music, you can just do that. I've tried this out with playing some games on my PlayStation 5 and I've just changed it to game mode and it does enhance a lot of the audio coming from the gameplay, which I really like. Now the Poseidon D70 also utilizes something called Surround X technology, which is why I want to highlight this surround button towards the bottom of the remote control. No matter how you position the speakers, the soundbar, the subwoofer in your room, if you want to adjust where the surround sound is coming from to make sure it actually feels like a home immersive cinematic surround experience, then you can make adjustments from levels minus six to plus six to make sure the audio disperses at the right levels from the distances and the positions you've placed all of the speakers. Now this just allows you to listen to more environmental sound details with enhanced authenticity and precise positioning, which I've not really encountered on any other soundbar or speaker system. So that is a very big plus for me. So now before I just go ahead and set it up, I do have to mention that this is a powerful 410 watt speaker system. It has eight high performance drivers in there, but it doesn't have Dolby Atmos capabilities. A lot of the Ultimia soundbar speaker systems on their website do support Dolby Atmos. So make sure to check out the website if that is something you are looking for. This one particularly, it does have seven channel speakers and because it doesn't have Dolby Atmos, this does have a very powerful punch in there. The speakers, when they come from all of the surround sounds in your room, it actually immerses you and makes you feel like you're getting that full home cinematic experience as if you are in the cinema. So for me, that's not a big issue and I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy with how this sounds. In terms of that, the audio is going to be coming directly from my microphone here. So how I hear it in the room with the surround sound, it's going to be very difficult for you to judge based on how you're listening it to your speakers or your headphones, whatever it may be. So hopefully it will give you a good indication of how clear and how punchy the audio is in comparison to just maybe the TV audio. So I'm gonna start off with a demo. And of course, to give you the best indication of the quality and details in the sounds, I will be showing some demo videos from Dolby Atmos, but I want you to try and hear how it sounds on the TV without the soundbar system turned on. And then when I turn it on, you can see the clarity and the difference, even though you might not be able to hear the surround sound as clear as I do when I sit on my sofa. And then the final thing I'll showcase is the smart app that comes with this as well. So you can actually control all of the features, the modes, the equalizer levels, everything from the app directly via Bluetooth connections with this and it's very quick and easy to do so. So let's go ahead and set it up and I'll show you how that looks as well. All right, so everything is now set up. You can see to the left and right side of the TV, I have the speakers set up here. I've got a bit of trunking just to tidy up the cables. They are connecting to the soundbar just there 
on the front of the TV stand. Everything is going to be turned on very shortly. So those are the front left and right channels. If I turn around, I have also done the same thing with some floating shelves. I've put the rear, right and left channels on top of that. As you can see, to the left and right sides of the sofa. And then the subwoofer, I have that down just on the left hand side of the sofa on the floor. Okay, so this first video I'm going to play will be with the soundbar turned off. So it will come directly from the TV and I'll put it up to volume level 20, which is actually quite loud for this TV. Okay, now I'm going to replay that same video, but with the speakers turned on, and hopefully you can hear a lot more of the details that come from this content. Now, I understand that you might not be able to hear exactly how I hear it, but the audio is traveling from left to right and it is surrounding me. The audio details in this video were actually super clear all the way from the raindrops to the thunderstorms, everything was just powerful. And even just on this very quick demo and playing this back as the first video is immediately 10 times better than just the audio from the TV, which you do expect when you have a seven channel speaker system set up compared to just the standard speakers on a TV. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play back a couple of other demo videos for you as well, just to give you a bit more of a variety. And then we'll head over into the smart app and showcase how that works. One other thing I wanted to showcase is if you are playing a game on your PlayStation 5 or any other gaming console with these speakers, then this gives you a very immersive gaming experience, especially when you do put it onto game mode. So I'm going to put the volume up and showcase how this sounds whilst I'm playing this game.
Now I've just gone on mute and although you might not be able to hear it as clear as I do here, I actually feel the strong vibrations coming from the subwoofer by the engine of this car in this game. And I hear the subtle ambient environment noises coming from the rear speakers, whilst the primary music and the gameplay audio is coming from the front firing speakers. And that just makes my gameplay so much better, especially when it comes to next gen gaming. So this is also a very great speaker and audio system to set up in your home if you are a gamer. Now, I also want to mention, if you want to use this with Netflix or any of your other favorite streaming apps, a lot of the content on here is compatible with 5.1 channel audio. Now, to make this compatible with the 7.1 channel D70, it's highly recommended when you do go into one of your favorite TV shows or movies, then go down to audio and subtitles, for example, on Netflix. And when you come down, make sure it's not selected to 5.1 and instead switch it over to English original. That way it doesn't utilize just five channel speakers and that will disperse the audio into all of your seven channel speakers as part of the Poseidon D70. So that is something that I'm going to do for all of my Netflix viewing on this TV because that will give me the greatest audio and surround sound experience with this setup. Okay, so when you load up the app, you'll see Poseidon D70 just there. You can tap it to turn it on, but because I've already turned it on, I'll go into that. Here you can adjust the volume. You've got the volume bar here. As you can see, it's very adjustable and you can see there's about one second latency on there between the app and the sound bar, which is not too bad. When you go into EQ Customize, this is where you can see all of those modes that are on the remote control. You can also go to Customize and you have a 10 band equalizer here to really customize each of these frequencies to match whatever content you're watching and to get it to your style. Now, speaking of style, when you go over to the style tab, here you have an option to play around with up to 121 preset EQ matrices. So you can go from like bass, more rock or classical or pop, however you want, just play around and make some adjustments. So there's plenty of options here, but the app is also recommended as well because when you do go into settings, if you go into firmware upgrade, this allows you to then get over the air upgrades to make sure your soundbar system does have the latest software inbuilt into it so you can utilize the best audio quality and that is a very big bonus. So that's it. Hopefully you found that review useful and you enjoyed the video content like I have with this surround sound speaker system. Seven channels is just amazing. It really fills the room and gives you that immersive cinematic experience. So I can't find really any faults with the Poseidon D70. Make sure to check the link for any discount codes and all of the latest specs and pricing information. As always, if you have any questions around how this performs, the setup, anything you'd like to know about its capabilities, then make sure you drop a comment down below. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.